Uh, tonight going to be cold, right? A little Canadian air. Canadians have moved in. We feel it. We know we like to visit. We don't want them staying around, yeah. though. Well, how long but are they going to visit just for? Just two days. Okay. And then they're out of here. Yeah. Well, right. It's like a relative okay. at Christmas. Yeah. Two days is all you got. All right. Hey, look Ooh. at this. Sped up video there. Look at the mesocyclone. Look at that shot. Wow. See everything spinning up top. Look at the dry air cutting in. See the bands? Dry air cutting in. Tornado Genesis clearly underway. That's an elephant trunk tornado there. It goes around, left, right, snaking all over the place. And the wind will make it look like that. See how the wind is, it, well, anyway, there's some dynamics going on that's making the tornado hang back. But that tornado, you'll see them like that and stop, and they'll go left, they'll go right, because the low-level winds can sometimes be stronger yeah. than the steering winds, and you'll get that thing to move. But uh, anyway, pretty wild stuff. That was in Iowa from uh, uh, yesterday, so just some wild stuff coming out of Iowa. All right, back to what's going on around here. Yeah, they're dealing with that, and we're dealing with this. Now, today we had a lot of fires, but these were, a lot of these were, uh, controlled burn fires, if you will. They're intentionally set uh, to burn off certain areas uh, that just need to be burned. So either way. Now this fire, we had one down in Grady County today, and uh, that fire was not a controlled burn fire. That was a fire that was whatever, set and took off. Jim was on that one. A lot of these fires were very, very small. Uh, the burn bans continue for eight counties. Uh, Logan, Kingfisher, Major, Dewey, Harmon, Texas, and Cimarron. We might see a few more added to this. The wind and the warm weather come back for next week. Fire danger will increase. 50 degrees in Oklahoma City, part of our Lucky Star Skycam Network. Our humidity, 34 percent. Dew points are pretty low, so it's going to be a cold night this morning in the 30s, well down into the 30s by tomorrow morning. 47 in Guthrie, 42 now in El Reno, 44 over in Shawnee and the rest of Oklahoma. Lots of 40s. We do have some 50s in the southeast. 41 now in Hollis. And we're looking good. The winds are light. So if the winds stay really, really light, and I think they're going to, um, yeah, we're going to have some frost. And for some of us, we'll have a freeze. Severe weather today, severe weather tonight, well off to our east. For us, pretty quiet weather. There will be another storm system coming across parts of southern and southeastern Oklahoma for late Friday and Friday night with a little bit better chance of rain. But for most of us, it is a dry forecast. Look at the rain amounts, though from tonight for the next several days into the weekend for parts of southern and eastern Texas. Some good rains down here. They need it. This rain showing up for Oklahoma, that would be in about 9 to 10 days with a weather pattern change. Hopefully a wet, a wetter weather pattern change coming up. Lows tonight, 32 in Guthrie, 34 in Piedmont. A freeze in Guthrie, 29 tonight in El Reno. A light northeast wind and again mostly clear. Tonight's lows for the rest of us, upper 20s in the north and way west. 31 in Clinton, 31 in Stillwater, 30 in Enid, 35 again in Oklahoma City. A freeze, yes, northern, western Oklahoma, a hard freeze in the Panhandle. Oklahoma City, we'll say a little frost in here. Highs tomorrow, warmer than today. We'll have a breezy northeast wind. I think we have lots of sunshine, at least mostly sunny. Highs tomorrow in the low 60s. Friday, upper 60s. It looks beautiful. That's day two of nice weather. Friday night, Saturday morning, some showers, maybe some thunderstorms in southeastern Oklahoma. High Saturday, 70s, a keeper. Again, it just keeps getting better. Easter Sunday, a high of 76, no complaints there. Monday looks good. The winds are light pretty much the entire time until we get into Tuesday. That's when the fire danger ramps up. Look at the 80s coming back, but some beautiful April weather going into next week. And then right here, nine days out into that Saturday, might have a stronger storm in here, possibly with that some severe weather. A lot going on. Carl, back to you.